Yeah, my name's Scott Mitchell. I'm the owner of the Bohemian Den. Gosh, I was working in the corporate world and um, I went to work at a store downtown called Travis Jean. In the end of 2017, I bought the business from her. I changed the name to Travis Jean Emporium and I managed it until 2020. Um, I added the Bohemian Den in the back of that shop, um, kind of like as a separate little enclave. Um, crystals and stones and um, incenses and different things. And it just grew and um, before I knew it, it took off. And so when I'm, my lease was up and I moved to the new location on the corner of Cherry and Third, I changed the name to Bohemian Den and just completely became the Bohemian Den, which is much more in line with like me. So, yeah. Uh, so the Bohemian Den is a uh, community-driven, socially responsible uh, gift shop. Um, have a lot of metaphysical supplies. Um, I'm also a huge supporter of um, the LGBT community. I was the first LGBTQIA plus um, business enterprise for Out Georgia in the Middle Georgia area. I won the uh, Small Business of the Year for them last year and um, also was um, the Making Bib Chamber of Commerce Business Leader of the Year last year. We started our first Making Pride in 2019 as a little four hour, one day, Saturday afternoon festival. Absolutely wonderful. We had over a thousand people show up. And so the next year we decided we were really gonna do it big. And then COVID happened and we had to really use that year to become a 501c3. And so that now um, we have all that in place. Um, how does Making Pride and the Bohemian Den work together? Um, so the Bohemian Den, um, we always sponsor the Saturday festival um, for Making Pride. We've been doing that um, ever since the inception. Um, super proud of that. We want to be a place where all people are welcomed and celebrated. And so we try to carry that spirit of Making Pride throughout the year at the Bohemian Den. You know, a place where anyone can feel comfortable when they come in and shop. It's a safe space for transgender people and the LGBT community, and we're just gonna keep it that way. 